Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial. In today's lesson we're going to focus on physical geography and we'll look at igneous rocks and the formation of igneous rocks. Okay, so what what are igneous rocks? Uh, well, igneous rocks are when molten magma cools, uh, can be quickly or slowly, and they what happens is then they uh, solidify and crystals will form. Now, you, igneous rocks can be intrusive or extrusive, so it all depends on how quickly the the rocks cool. So if it's intrusive, the rocks will cool really slowly. If it reaches a, if the magma reaches the surface and comes out of the surface, then it'll be extrusive and it'll cool uh, really quickly and the crystals will be much smaller because it solidifies much faster. Okay, so a quick little definition there for igneous rocks. So they form a molten magma, cools and solidifies to form rock. Crystals will form uh, within these rocks and the size of the crystals depend on how quickly the rocks solidifies. There's two types of igneous rocks you can get. You can get intrusive igneous rocks. So intrusive igneous rocks. And you can get extrusive igneous rocks. So that's really important and that's what we're going to look at now. The difference between the intrusive rocks and the extrusive rocks. Um, one thing to note is just like intrusive just means within the surface. And extrusive just means like exit, so out of the surface. That's why I remember it. Just highlight that there, just so you can uh, remember. It. So intrusive means within the the Earth's uh, crust, and extrusive means above the Earth's crust. So we're going to look at intrusive rocks. Um, one thing to know is that they're also known as plutonic rocks. So they can be known as plutonic rocks too. So, an example of an intrusive igneous rock would be granite. So, granite. And granite can be found, so found in the Wicklow Mountains. The Wicklow Mountains. So it's important to, to know an example and also to have, um, to know where, where you can find, uh, an, like, the, like granite, like, so each type of rock. So how do these intrusive rock, igneous rocks form? Well what happens is the molten magma cools deep within the earth's crust and the cooling of the magma is really really slow because there's no contact with air and there's very little contact with water. So what happens is the, the cooling is very slow and because it's slow it makes the, the crystals be very large because it gives lots of time for the crystals to actually uh, form. So I'm going to write down a few different points now. I'll we'll say cools deep within Earth's crust I'm going to say it cools very slow I'm going to say that there's a um, that it forms large crystals because it cools very very slow forms large crystals as there's lots of time for the rocks um, to, to to for the crystals to, to, to form because it's not being exposed to the to the to the air or, or to any water. Granite, the colour of granite it's usually a uh, dark grey colour. It's a dark grey uh, colour. They use granite in uh, for buildings. For buildings. They also use uh, granite on uh, kitchen counters. One thing to note that the rock is very hard. So it's, it's a very hard rock. So it's, res it's very resistant to any erosion. And granite, the main material, the, the, what makes up the minerals that make up granite is three mineral minerals. So it's feldspar. You have quartz. And you have mica. Okay, so that was the intrusive igneous rocks. The next one we're going to look at is the extrusive igneous rocks. And extrusive, so it's exit. So it's when the molten magma reaches the surface. When it comes out, it's called lava. And as the lava is exposed to the air and the water, it uh, quickly cools and solidifies. And what happens then is, that because it cools really uh, quickly, the crystals don't have time to form, so they're very, very small. 
So we're going to write down a few different points uh, for this, okay? So, so the first thing I'm going to write down is they're known as uh, volcanic rocks. So they're also known as volcanic rocks. An example of an um, extrusive igneous rock or volcanic rock is basalt. Um, an example of where you can find uh, this would be the Antrim Derry Plateau. So the Antrim Derry Plateau, which of course is the Giant's Causeway. So I'll just, I'll just write that in. So it's the Giant's Causeway. So that's where the, the Giant's Causeway is the Antrim Derry Plateau. Um, we'll say that it cools above the surface, so above the Earth's surface. So it's not it's so that when a mag molten magma reaches reaches the the surface, it's called lava, and then it cools uh, above the surface, and it cools very very quickly, so very quickly, and that's really significant that you that you say that it cools very uh, quickly because then uh, the it forms really small crystals forms small crystals. The reason why it forms small crystals is because it is exposed to the air and the water and it cools really quickly. It doesn't give time for the crystals to actually form. The colour of um, basalt rock, um, it, it's mainly like uh, black or grey or grey in, in colour. Uh, some uses for it, it's used in building materials, so the same as the granite, building materials. One thing to note is that uh, the rock is very hard, so the rock is very hard, so it's very um, resistant to any any erosion. And the main minerals that makes up um basalt rock are the same as um the as the intrusive igneous rocks okay so they're made up so the same as the granite um rock the basalt rock is made up of the same minerals so you've got feldspar feldspar quartz And Mika. Right, so that's um, the extrusive and the intrusive igneous rocks. Um, it's really important that you know these for uh, your leaving certificate geography exam, and you should make sure that you that you learn these off. One thing to note is um, with the intrusive igneous rock, as long as you can be asked like what landforms uh, can develop at uh, intrusive igneous rocks and one thing you can get is you can get like a granite landform which is known they're known as tor and you can find these in the Wicklow mountains so like we used and tors are formed when basically like the giants within the granite are widened by because of chemical weathering hydrolysis and then you've got also got physical weathering freeze to action and what happens is what happens when the granite is very close to the surface so it's still underneath the surface so because obviously it's an intrusive igneous rock and that's only when gra granite forms but it's close to the surface and when uh, the, these like cracks are like exposed because of weathering the tors are later uh, exposed to the surface so, so I'll just jot that down in here that you can get landform that's created um, it are tor known as tors T-O-R-S so I hope you enjoyed it if you did and you learned something from it you can, remember you can tweet us at Exam Revision for you. Uh, you can also leave us some reviews on our Facebook page, Exam Revision. And you can also get lots more of our free videos on our website, examrevision.a. Thanks, guys.